Hey everyone, it's Jared here with another drum lesson for you. Now, a while ago I put out a question on my Facebook page, and if you don't follow me there, you should definitely check it out. Um, just search Jared Fall. But uh, I asked all the students there, I said, what type of things do you want to learn for beginners? Because I don't do enough beginner lessons, and sometimes I think you get so caught up in consistently learning, and myself, I don't ever look back to how it was when I first started, and look back and be like, what did I actually need back then? And so. Uh, this was one of the topics that a lot of people suggested, people liked this, uh, this person's comment or suggestion, and so I thought I'd do a lesson on it. And so we're going to talk about adding bass drum to your fills. And the easiest way to do this is for me to just give you some examples on how you can start to apply this within your fills. And it's as simple as that. Use these examples um, within some music, see how they fit. If they don't fit, just make some adjustments and feel free to add or remove notes or just kind of use the fill as inspiration for your own creation. I mean, that's the perfect end result. Okay, so let's start going through the fills. Now, the first one is just a straight eighth note fill and I've written in the sticking there so you can see exactly what's going on. But you'll see it goes snare, bass drum, high tom, high tom, bass drum, right, left, right, on the floor tom, and we're going to crash with our left hand. Okay, now, inserting bass drum into your fills, it's as simple as this. Starting out very slow and kind of getting the feel for it. And when I was first starting out, it was a balance issue. You know, I felt comfortable with my feet planted and me kind of just playing toms and stuff over the kit. But if the bottom always drops out of your fills, it's going to sound a little bit weird when you're playing like a really nice fat groove and then you go to this, what's supposed to be, a really cool fill and nothing's happening. Okay, so you notice in this one how it's nice to have that bottom end. So I'm gonna play it at two separate tempos. Okay, we're gonna do it at 60 and 100 beats per minute. Here we go. Now the next fill might look a little bit challenging, but honestly, anybody can do this, okay? Uh, your grandma can do this. Anybody can do it. Because if you just kind of break it down with no drum set, it's right, left, bass, right, left, bass, right, left, right, bass, right, left, right, bass, right, left. That's it. So just practice that. Figure it out and then learn how it's orchestrated on the kit. And it's not actually that hard. So just two snares, bass drum, two high toms, a bass drum, three snares, a bass drum, three floor toms, a bass drum, and then two of the high tom. It's as simple as that. Just make sure it flows nice and evenly. You're not doing like right, left, bass, right, left, bass, right, left, right, bass. <laughs> Right? You want nice, even note spacing. So 1E e and a 2E e and a 3E e and a 4E e and a... All right, let's go again at 60 and 100 beats per minute.
Fill number three, we're going to make use of something that I love to do, especially in, in the heavier rock music, and that's just using flams. Now, a flam is basically played with holding one stick higher, one stick lower, drop the sticks at the same time, and you're going to get a sound like this. So it's not supposed to sound like two separate notes, it's supposed to sound like one thick note, okay? And so really make sure you, you get that before trying this, or just remove the flams completely. Here's where we're actually going to insert the bass drums on the E and the A uh of one, and then the E and the A uh of count three, with a little hi-hat bark on count two. So really just listen to how it sounds when I play it, and you'll be able to get the orchestration no problem. You can even just tap on your legs with me. Right? Simple as that. Let's do it again at two separate tempos. So the past three fills, we're really focusing on having the bass drum be on its own, or somewhat linear, right? There's nothing else happening when we're playing the bass drum, and that's how we're adding it in. But in fill number four, we're actually going to be playing the bass drum on some of the other notes that we're playing. And this is a really cool thing to do. Uh, if you're just playing like a simple round-the-world fill, something like that, even just adding the bass drum on quarter notes or eighth notes will make a huge difference, and that's even a better start. I wanted to give you something a little bit more interesting. So I got a bell of the, of the ride on count one. We got an open hi-hat bark on the E of two, and we're hitting our bass drum with each of those hits. And then we're playing the bass drum again on the three, the and of three, the four, and the and of four. Here's how it sounds. Now, earlier in the lesson, I talked about balance and getting thrown off. And this last one is going to do exactly that, okay? It's going to definitely throw you off with the sticking I've written in. Now, we're going to be leading it with our left hand. If you are a left-handed drummer, you can go ahead and lead it with your right hand. So we're going to go left, bass, bass, left, right, bass, bass, right, left, bass, bass, doom, 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 doom. And then we're going to bass drum hit on the end of four. Okay, so it takes some time to get it, but again, just do it on your legs if you need it. One, E, and, a, uh, two, E, and, a, uh, three, E, and, a, uh, four, E, and, a. Uh. 
And so you can practice this stuff anywhere. I'll play it for you guys now at two separate tempos. So that is how you can easily add some bass drum into your fills. So use these as foundations for patterns that you come up with or feel free to completely rip them off and put them to any sort of music that you're playing. I think they work with a lot of different styles. Now I also want to let you guys know about my successful drumming package. There's a link probably right below this video. If you don't mind, just go and check it out. See if it's for you. It's my complete curriculum that I developed where you get to you know, know exactly what to do, you know how long to do it, and you know when you're completed. And there's a whole community of people using the successful drumming lessons, and so I'd love for you to check it out. Also, make sure you add me on Facebook if you can. I'll try and put a link below, but I might forget, so just go ahead and search, and uh, you can find that if I haven't put it in there. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again very soon.